Hello, Stefan here with Liquidity with a video on how to pronounce the German CH. Liquidity. There are multiple ways to pronounce that combination of a CH in German. First of all, there is the hard CH sound, which is very similar to how Scottish people would pronounce the word loch or och. So if you're Scottish, you should have no problem pronouncing these words. It is produced by closing your throat, almost like you're gargling, but it's like a soft gargle. It's a ha, ha, ha. Imagine you're gargling with some salt water if you have a cold or something like that. Uh, but it's a really, really soft gargle. Do not try to overpronounce it. So in German, if a CH is preceded by either an A or an O vowel, it becomes a hard H. Examples would be Loch, Machen, Macht, Kochen, Lachen. Most CH sounds are a softer Sh sound, which is similar to almost a sh sound. Actually, if you look at my lips, sh and sh, very, very similar. You raise your tongue to the top of your mouth, to the ceiling of your mouth, and then you let out air. You can actually practice that quite easily in front of the mirror, especially. So if the CH follows either one of the three main vowels, E, E, U, or is preceded by an umlaut, E, U, U, or if it is preceded by a deaf song like I, OI, it is a soft CH, a SH. Here's some examples. Licht, ich, Milch, nicht, echt, ehrlich, Kuchen, suchen, euch, reichen, mächtig, schüchtern. CH is also pronounced softly, like a sch, if it is the diminutive suffix of a word, the chen. So any noun in German can be turned into a diminutive. For instance, hund can turn into hundchen. So instead of a dog, you have a doggy. Or a katze could be kätzchen. Or glass would be gläschen. But anything that ends with chen like Kätzchen, Hündchen, Gläschen, Mädchen is pronounced with a soft CH, the Schchen. Now don't be surprised if you encounter a different pronunciation of the soft CH, the Sch, in different parts of the German-speaking world. My mother, for instance, who is from the Rhineland, who was born and raised in Cologne, would pronounce a lot of words with a soft CH closer to a sh sound, especially when she slips back into her regional dialect. So for instance, instead of saying, ich trinke Milch, she, if she feels very comfortable around, you might say, ich trinke Milch. Another variation of the CH pronunciation can be found in Western Austria, the northernmost tip of Italy, and in Switzerland, where CHs, even the soft CHs, are pronounced like a hard guttural CH. So, for instance, instead of Milch, they would say Milch. So, whereas my mother would say possibly Ich trinke Milch, and in standard German she would say Ich trinke Milch, somebody from Tyrolia might say Ich trinke Milch. So in Western Austria and in Switzerland, a lot of people would pronounce the CH 
as a hard guttural CH regardless of what vowels preceded. And that's just a regional variation. It's just the way it is pronounced there. Most German words that begin with CH actually have their origins in other languages. And there are three languages in particular where those words come from. One is English. And in English, we try to pronounce the word as close to the English as possible. Sometimes that can be a little bit challenging. And sometimes in English, we have exceptions to the rule too, like for instance, Chicago or chic, you know, we don't pronounce that like a ch sound, like most words in English. Another language that contributed a lot of words to the German language is French. And a lot of French words are spelled either identically or very close to English words, like for instance, the word chance. Um, so in that case, most Germans would probably go with the French pronunciation or very close to the French pronunciation. So instead of saying chance, they might say chance, which is close to the French. So examples of French words that start with a CH that are used in German very often are Chassis, Chance, Charmant, Charlotte, Champagne. Another language that contributed greatly to the German language and many other languages as well is of course Greek. And those words of Greek origin that start with a CH in German to the best of my knowledge, are all pronounced with a hard k sound, uh, just like the letter K, with a hard k sound. Uh, here's some examples. For instance, we have character, chaos, chameleon. Here are two words, just to make it more complicated, where there is a standard pronunciation. And then there are two variations of how to pronounce these two words, depending on what part of the German speaking world you're in. So the standard pronunciation of these two words is China, Chemie. So in the Rhineland near Cologne, for instance, a lot of people would pronounce these words China, Chemie. If you find yourself in Southern Bavaria or in Austria, a lot of people will pronounce it with a hard K. Kina, Kemi. I, of course, recommend using the standard pronunciation Kemi, China, but don't be surprised if you will hear native Germans pronounce it a little bit differently. On a side note, many languages, in fact, have the sh or the h sound or both and maybe some additional even more guttural sounds like uh, arabic for instance and usually in those languages in the english transcription words that have that have the letter combination k h that replace the ch in german or that are the equivalent to the german ch so for instance the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv or the Ukrainian city of Kherson also have that, 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 that kh or kh sound. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.